Welcome to another video from Manta Mechanical. In this video, we will talk about the 5 must-haves for every house. Before that, don't forget to subscribe to Manta Mechanical for more content. So let's get started. The first thing we will look at is in the mechanical room. Check if the hot water tank is strapped to the wall. If it's not, then immediately take action and strap it to the wall. The advantage of the strap is that it secures the tank from falling. For example, in the case of an earthquake, this can save you from a lot of damage to the property. The second thing we will look at is the hose bib. All of the outside hose bibs need to have vacuum breakers installed on them. A vacuum breaker is a device that prevents the reverse flow of polluted water back into the potable water supply due to back siphonage. So make sure that vacuum breakers are installed to save your water from contamination. If you would like to know how to install a vacuum breaker, check out our video tutorial on the installation of a vacuum breaker. Link will be in the description below. The third thing we will look at in this video is inside the kitchen sink cabinet. Make sure the dishwasher supply line has a water hammer arrestor installed on it. Dishwashers have quick acting valves. And when they close quickly, they send a shock wave through the water, causing the pipes to vibrate and shudder. The same rule applies to washing machines, so make sure both the dishwasher and the washing machine have water hammer arresters installed on them. The fourth thing we will look at in this video is outside the house, so let's head over there. At the location where the furnace or hot water tanks fresh air and exhaust pipes penetrate the outside, make sure they have bird screens installed. If there are none, birds are able to go inside the pipes and make nests. This can cause flow restrictions and various other issues to the system. The fifth and final thing we will look at in this video is the slope of the trap arms. Any trap arm pipe that has a slope that is more than its inner diameter will siphon out the P-trap and will allow sewer gases to enter the house. Also, do not use a Y fitting because that will create the same negative effect. Instead, use a sanitary tee. So make sure to check for this if you're renovating or building a new house. So that's all for today's video. Make sure to like, comment, and share the video and subscribe for more. See you next time.